Now, you know, you're all using physics right now as you sit there. And uh, you look a little bored. I'm going to ask you to stand up, except, wait a minute, sit down. I'm going to try to keep you from standing up with one finger. You think I can do that? <laughs> try it. Oh, come on. <laughs> little finger. Uh, you're no good. Actually, there's an important principle of physics at work here. And this is what we call the physics of equilibrium. Equilibrium is what you're all in right now. You are supported by sitting on the seat, and uh, you're supported in such a way that your center of gravity, which is somewhere inside of you, is above your point of support. When you're sitting down, the point of support is back here. And when you go to stand up, you have to put your center of gravity above your feet. The only way you can do that is to lean forward. So try it sometime with your friends. Put your finger on their forehead. Don't let them lean forward. They can't stand up. Now, there are many examples of this. You could do the same thing at home. Put your, the heels of your feet against the wall. Try to bend over and touch your toes. If you've ever tried that, you know it's impossible. It's impossible because as you bend over, your center of gravity gets in front of your toes, and then you're unstable and you fall over. Now, there are many examples of this. Here's a deck of cards, a little bigger than the playing cards some of you may have at home. But these cards also have a center of gravity. And we can support the card on the edge of the table, and it doesn't fall over so long as the center of gravity is on the table. If it goes a little bit too far, it topples over. Now, one thing we can do is support this card on this card. And as long as the center of gravity of that is supported, it will nicely support itself. And we can do that with more and more cards. And eventually, we can make quite an impressive arch uh, that leans out quite a way. And if we had a pair of these, we can make a complete arch that would go across made out of cards that are not even attached to one another. And this is a very important principle, because architects and engineers use this principle of equilibrium in order to build bridges and buildings. That it's obviously important that they don't topple over. But with our bodies, we also use that principle so that we don't topple over when we walk and when we stand.